As we are testing the T2 samples of the Astro, we wanted to show you some great features and functions that have been implemented in the firmware that will help you use your Astro in wonderful ways. So today we want to focus on the T2 samples and the way the device screen orientation rotates and how we do that using the whole sensor and action. So if we try to open the device, you can see the screen will automatically rotate uh, and it does that very quickly. So I'll try to close the device again so you can see, close the device and then we open the device, you can slide it out. But as we close the device, uh, the screen will rotate again. So, very smooth action as we open and as we close. I can switch off the device and of course there's another thing that we can do which is uh, as we open the device we will wake up the device. So you can see uh, we can wake up the screen as we close. We can close the device and again the screen orientation changes. Um, so this is these are some very nice features about the uh, firmware. Of course, you can also change the rotation. Uh, so you can see here, there's this little icon uh, that appears if you change the rotation of your device. So uh, now we're going to rotate. You can see this appears. If I press this button, the screen will rotate in the uh, natural orientation. And we'll do that again. And now if we press this, it will uh, rotate uh, in its natural orientation. However, we can also set auto rotate to on, and if we set auto rotate to on, then of course this will all be done automatically. I want to also show you the way that the device closes and what can be done on close. So let's take an example that we are in an application. Uh, let's take airmail as an example. So here we are in the new feed view of airmail. Uh, and now I can open the device. And when I open the device, the okay, airmail can change its view to this compact view so we can see more entries in the landscape mode. But now if I close the device, it will go back to the feed view in portrait. But now we can change the setting as well and we can say Okay, when you close the device, go back to desktop. So this is the new setting. Go to desktop when closing Astro. So let's see that as an example. So I'll open the Astro. Here we are. Uh, and now when I close the Astro, it goes back to the desktop. So another feature I want to focus on is the smart button. So this is the button here. On the, uh, on the side next to the two volume buttons. So by pressing this button, uh, we can perform many smart functions. If we go into settings and then Astro settings, you can see the smart button action field and we can select different actions. So we have a list of actions um, and they range from various different skills to um, invoking a specific application. So um, there's a voice assistant function for the button. Uh, you can invoke an application um, which then will just start. You can cycle through your recent apps. Um, you can take a picture with the quick shot functions. You can start a voice recording. You can switch on the torch and rotate the screen. You can pull up the app bar, you can take a screenshot or start an alarm noise uh, or of course you can disable the button. Uh, so I'll show you a few of those functions. Uh, one that I really like is the cycle through recent apps, so I'll show you that one. Um, so now if we go outside, if I press the button you can see that uh, I'm cycling through the most recent apps that I have. So here's notes, here are settings, airmail, 
uh, the browser. Again, cycling through the notes, settings, airmail, and browser. So a very easy way to just cycle through your recent or open apps. I'll look at some other functions as well. So let's take an example of the torch. So now if I switch on the the button you'll see the torch. I can show you the torch. The torch will switch on and then switching the button will allow you to switch on and off the torch. Easily. Another function that I'd like to show you is the personal alarm. So now by pressing the button, you can hear the alarm sound. Another smart button function that I'd like to show you is the Invoke App application. So here we can go to Invoke App and then we can select an application that we want. I'll choose Notes and that means that as soon as I press the smart button, it will invoke the notes application. It's a very simple way to invoke your favorite app. So another smart button action is to take a screenshot. So by, by selecting the screenshot function, uh, I can now press the smart button and take a screenshot. The screenshot is saved and you can easily share or edit the screenshot. As well as having auto screen brightness, the Astro now has auto keyboard backlight brightness control. This means that as you're entering light and dark spaces, the keyboard brightness will change from off all the way to the highest level. Uh, this will enable you to easily uh, type as you're moving around uh, without needing to switch on the backlight for the keyboard. Thank you for watching.